if you listen to the news for five minutes, things don't sound so good. But in programs like this all over the country, things are good. And that's why we come together and do this work. In the community at the time when TBB was founded, Pierce County was part of a really interesting project. It started out as the Juvenile Detention Alternative Initiative. So Pierce County Juvenile Court and the Annie E. Casey Foundation were working together to try to stop incarcerating so many young people, to understand how to prevent them from ever entering into the system, and then once they do, to give them opportunities to get them back out as fast as possible. So imagine, you know, a highway with more exit ramps. And so there was this need in the community at that time for those exit ramps. And exit ramps can be a lot of things. It can be services. It can just be lower sentences for things. It turns out, for example, just picking up a phone and throwing it across the room, if it happens to get destroyed, it's an extremely valuable piece of technology. And all of a sudden, you go from somebody pitching a fit to somebody on a felony offense because of the value of the phone. Instead of dealing with the whatever it is that's happening in that moment that causes that event to happen, we're punishing them. And so the leadership of the court was looking for alternatives to punishment that were more like opportunities. And TBB was formed to serve that population, to work with the court on creating spaces where young people could come who were struggling in different ways and find ways to serve them and, and help them find a spot in the community. Many people walk in, they've never been in a wood shop or never worked around boats or anything like that whatsoever. But it's, it's not what we're here to do. What we're here is just to give people a safe space just to be. There's a lot of things I've learned here, like that there's always gonna be a welcoming home for you to understand your place in life. There was this one time that I was kind of struggling with a couple of things, like a little bit of my past. They kind of helped me and welcomed me in with open arms, thinking hey, you're not a bad person, so you're always welcome here. and to learn and love yourself. We've kind of turned from just a experiential hands-on program where kids could come in and get their hands on tools and, and learn things about building things to kind of a, I'm gonna call it a social justice program. As I'm sure everybody's aware, our community is facing a lot of different things in regards to youth violence, youth crime. If it wasn't for places like this, it would be a lot crazier, believe it or not, than it is now. And so being able to bring those youth in and surrounding them with positive people is something that can break cycles within the community. Even if you reach just one youth, that's one youth that's off the streets, you know, ruining their life and ruining other people's lives as well. It's a very civilized way for people to learn, for people to get together. So we've got a room full of people and pretty quickly the energy starts to elevate and then we'll have our opening circle and people share a few things about themselves, how they're feeling, and then the work starts. Every once in a while, I'll lift my head and look around and you just see sawdust flying and the tools going and people standing together at a bench with their heads down. It's a flow. It's the zone, you know, it's, that's what we're looking for. That's what I've always looked for in my work is, where is that place where you lose yourself in the work? And quite often, you can look around the room and see everybody's lost themselves in the work. Youth engagement specialist means a lot of different things. It means being a friend. It means being a phone call if you need any help. It means hanging out. It means going out to eat 
Ultimately, it just means being a healthy adult mentor to those that are willing. Just through sincere conversation, I'm able to show those that I work with that, you know, I'm truly there for them and it's not just a paycheck type of thing. The way we encourage our youth, we just listen. We don't, we don't ever want to tell a youth what they should do or what they should be doing. We more so give youth autonomy. I think that's something that they don't get in an everyday world. I personally like the checkups because it's like not many people ask how I'm doing when I'm kind of struggling and stuff and if I am struggling they'll ask me if I'm okay and that kind of lets you know that you're safe around everyone here and that you can be trusted and people can trust you. You're not really alone. There's a lot of people that really don't know where they need to start off, but there's always people that help you. And eventually when you leave here in eight weeks, you'll kind of get a grasp on how fun it was and how enjoyable your time here was. With wood, you have to meet it on its own terms. You have to understand it. You can bend it, but you can't just make it bend. You kind of have to ask it to, and you have to treat it in the right way. If you get it right, right, all around us, you can see them. These artifacts will take you somewhere. One thing that you gotta remember, youth are just adults going through childhood. They have this small fraction of their life where they'll spend as a young person. And then the rest of their life, they're an adult. So you gotta kinda approach it in that way. No, you don't wanna be outright firm to them as you would another adult, but you do wanna give them that respect that one day, pretty soon, you're gonna make a lot of decisions on your own and you're gonna think for yourself. And I just wanna give you the tools that may help you to form the way you think or the, the way you move in life, right? but we give them that choice. We don't make it for them. Since I've learned how to draw a little bit here, I've thought of the idea of like, kind of after I go to college for carpentry, I wanna like kind of learn how to draw a little bit more, take my aspirations for drawing a little bit more serious. When young people leave our program, we continue on if that is what they choose. We continue to try to have that relationship with them because we realize that you can't make the impact that you want within a matter of weeks. Everything takes time. So we, we build lasting relationships with them. And for youth to walk in and be like, damn, this place, this, these people are cool and this thing is weird, but I'm gonna give it a shot. They'll come back. They'll come back years later and ask how their mentor is or how Chuck is, or where's the dog, because we've always had a dog. You know, they know they can come back. I probably learned more from the kids and the students that I've worked with over my lifetime than they learned from me. In fact, I'm pretty positive. Everything I know about boat building, I learned from my students. 